Hello and welcome back to The Cock Dice. In tonight's conversion video, I'm tackling a somewhat lesser known chapter. These are gonna be the Executioners. They're an Imperial Fist successor who have recently turned from a 100 year penitent crusade following their actions here during the Badab War. Now, there's a few different ways of reading the chapter. You read the law, either they're a bunch of savages, berserker types in Space Marine armor, or they're kind of loyal, martial warriors uh, akin to kind of loyalist world eaters had the world eaters not fallen to chaos so it's got a really interesting conversion potential so let's take a look at the bits we're going to use tonight obviously we're building on the back of a assault intercessor now i also wanted to kind of hark back to the fact these marines may have been around for a little while so i'm going to drop on uh, an old style i think it's mark six or mark seven shoulder pad uh, onto this arm uh, it just kind of reflects that kind of slightly older armour. Maybe it's a, uh, a piece he's had with him for his crusade, what was left of his crusade armour. Weapon-wise, obviously executioners. Their symbol is a pair of axes, so we're going to give this guy a massive axe. Um, this is from uh, Age of Sigma Chaos. I think it's probably the Wrathmongers kit. Uh, we're going to head-wise, I've umdenard. I, I tried to figure out how to make some bunny-eared um, the kind of loyalist bunny ears in, in kind of copy that corner style haven't come up with a way of doing that yet so instead I'm opting for a uh, reaver head with a skull face skull lower face I'm going to give him a somewhat tattered loincloth uh, again to show he's kind of been around the block for a while and been on a, a fairly long crusade maybe it's uh, again another relic from that crusade I've got some bits of chain. Um, I've, ne I've never used chain in any of my tutorials. I know a couple other people do. I'm going to try it out, see if it, I can just add a little bit more of a kind of feral feel and a bit more shape with it. Um, and then I've got a bunch of skulls and other bits of detailing. These will just be to cover up any areas where I need to just clean the model up. I'm going to use a couple of them on the axe to kind of de-chaosify it a little bit. So the first step is really to build your Assault Intercessor. Now, mine's already built, so I'm going to stick him on a base and then we'll get on with the rest of the model. So I'm going to tackle a slightly more complicated hand first. So this is his, his rear arm and we're going to use this axe. So I'm, again, I'm going to swap the weapons around um, on this model. The axe obviously needs a bit of de-chaosifying. We need to swap the shoulder pad out, so we'll do the shoulder first. Always the more complicated thing, especially if you start cutting into it. So as always, a pair of clippers, we're just going to work around this and we'll do it nice and quickly off camera. So I've cleaned up his shoulder. Next job is going to swap out his hand. Now I'm actually going to just use the hand that's already on there, um, quite simply because I don't really like these gauntlet gloves and it's got quite a nice angle to it. So I'm going to take the whole hand off, including the bolt pistol, and right up to this point here. So sharp knife and just cut straight through it. And at the back where the bolt pistol is, I'm just going to get a smaller knife and just slice in there like that. And that's freed our hand up and we've got a lovely nice flat join on it, a nice flat cut on it there. So the next job here is going to make this axe a little less chaos. Um, so obviously easy one is to take off all these spikes. So just get a knife and just run it down the blade. Run it down the back of the axe like that and give it a bit of a scrape and that cleans that area up nicely. I'm going to do the same on these ones here. Now I'm going to leave this kind of detail area here and I'm going to take these two teeth off and for that I'm going to make a little mark down to the main bit of the head of the blade and then we're just going to run a knife into it very gently. Like so. so to continue the theme we're going to take the big top spike here off and again just get it to the base of where it joins the axe and trim across and then we're going to level that off neatly there. And then the final thing we're going to do is remove this skull here, which is going to cut straight down, and then we'll replace that with some iconography that's a bit more Imperium-like. So just like that, and I'll flip it over and get the other side sorted out now. So on the side of the axe that's facing forwards on the model, we're going to drop a little Terminator Crux Terminatus. I'm just going to take the top, take that little attachment off. 
Now these little symbols come from, I think it's the Infiltrator's kit. There's a bunch of little Terminator symbols and, and stuff like that, and they're pretty awesome. But we'll just drop that on there, like so. On the flip side, I'm going to take the lazy route. We're going to drop Purity Seal on that. So that makes the weapon look a little bit more Imperium-like, and we'll get this and the arm and shoulder glued on the model now. So there we have the beginnings of this model. Now we'll switch over to his other arm. Obviously, because they've been on their Pentagon Crusade and they've just come back, they've obviously got some Primaris reinforcements. Um, he's not going to have um, the Indominus Crusade symbols on him, so I'm going to swap the normal arm out with the kind of Indominus Gauntlet for for this sergeant's arm from the uh, Easy Build kits that came out with Eighth Edition. Uh, this has got obviously a peg join. We've got a pole here, so get your clippers and just snip that straight off. We can glue this arm straight on. And while we're here, we'll add his head. And we get a really good sense of his direction then. Next job is to add a loincloth to his body. For the loincloth, I'm going back to my favourite kit, the Nighthaunt um, chain rasp board. And I think I'm going to use this side of it on here. So we'll just get our marine, we'll kind of hover this over it. Of course, I've just stuck the arm in the way. So we want this to be cut somewhere about here to begin with. So you can either do this as a saw or a big knife. Just take it, just cut straight across. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut down the centre of these two. You can see that's going to fit in there fairly nicely. I just need to clean up the top and level out the back a little bit. So we've got that fitting in there nicely. Next up, we're going to get, make him look a little meaner. We're going to add some skulls and chains and bits of glorious stuff like that. So this is 2mm by 1mm, or 2 by one and a half, I think, um, chain I picked up off eBay. So the first piece we're going to add is just going to be at the top of the loincloth, hide our, some of that marks a little bit. So I'm just going to drop a little bit of super glue at one end. Swap the tweezers again. At the end of the chain. And once one end's glued on, you can simply glue the other one on in your position of choice. Once it's glued into place, you may want to put a little dab of super glue with the various uh, connections between the two links. And this will obviously help it glue to the model and stick to each other for painting later. As a reminder of all past deeds, we're going to give him a skull from the Citadel Skull Kit. I'm going to just add that to the top of this chain over here. Perhaps once a victim or a friend from Penitent Crusade, stored forevermore. As a relic. So there we have it, one Executioner's Assault Intercessor. If you hang around for a moment, you can see a painted version coming up right now. And thanks for joining us here at The Clock Dice. Why not like this video and add a comment below? It really helps boost the channel. And while you're at it, if you click on the icon below, you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates as soon as they're live. Why not check out some of our other videos and playlists? You can click on the ones on screen right now. Take care and we'll see you next time.